Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss lead code problem today and today's problem is find words that can be formed by characters and it is an easy learn problem. So the problem is very very straightforward. It's just a simple implementation problem. It says that we have been given an array of strings called words and we have also been given a separate string called cats. Right. Now we uh, in each of the word in this particular array is called good if it can be formed with the help of these characters. Right. So we have to return the sum of lengths of good strings in the words. So basically we have to check whether the current string is good or not and if it is good we have to add its length to our answer. Right. So there are multiple ways of checking uh, whether it is uh, like a good string or not and uh, the most uh, simple way would be to count the frequency of each character. Right. So I will uh, essentially count the frequency of each character in this cares uh, string and then I am just going to go through all these strings inside the words uh, array and for each of the word I would check like there are multiple characters right. So if there are three characters in this particular string C, A and T. So the frequency of A in this particular cares string should be greater than this here right and similarly for C and similarly for D. Even if there is one character whose frequency is smaller that means I cannot form this particular word. Right. So this is exactly what I have done here. I have created first of all a frequency vector and I have calculated the frequency of all the characters in the second string. Now I am just going to initialize my answer of with 0 and going through all the words. So I have initialized my ok variable with 1 and I have initialized a left vector. So this is essentially going to be a copy of this f vector. Now if I am just going through all the characters in the current word and if the frequency of current character is 0 that means I have less number of characters in this particular cares array than I have in, this, in the current word right. So that is when I can mark ok as 0 and just break out otherwise I will go to decrement the frequency of left. So here you would have uh, realized why I have created a separate vector left because uh, I am modifying the left array and I cannot modify the original f array so I have to create a copy of it. Otherwise in any other case you can also implement the same thing in your own style it really does not matter all you have to do is check whether the frequency is less than or not right. So the frequency in the current weight of every character should be less than or equals to the characters present in this cares array or cares string right. Now after I have done this for loop I will check whether ok is true if it is true I am going to add answer dot size i dot size that is the size of the current word otherwise I am going to add 0 to my answer. So and then I can just return my answer value and this would be the solution. So let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular solution works. So you see this is passing all the test cases and the solution is absolutely correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.